Hello, Cancerians. Welcome to your reading, Cancer. Let's begin this message. I've already meditated on the cards. I um, felt guided to do this reading for you. We have sudden wealth at the bottom of the deck. 777 may be significant. Number 11 may be also significant. This is sudden wealth coming in for you. What is the overall energy for this reading, Holy Spirit? What is the overall energy for this reading for Cancer? Tell me to take from the top. Toil and labor. We have despair and bad health. Someone could be in despair because of bad health, okay? It could be a family, okay? We have family room. So, someone could be in despair, okay? Not hiring because they don't have work, okay? They don't, have, they don't it says here toil and labor. So a person may feel like they need to, like they're working too hard or they're some sort of bad health, okay? You have sudden wealth that's coming towards you while someone's in despair, having to work really hard. They have, they're experiencing bad health. Protect your energy, it says here, Cancer. 11, 11. So the number 11 may, uh, is it, it's showing up in the, in the reading. Okay. So maybe significant for some of you, a Taurus, ta Taurus wealth energy, protect your energy. This is someone who's good receiving, um, who has, who has, uh, yeah, 11, 11 confirmation. There's someone in your family experiencing bad health cancer. I feel like there's a, um, unfortunate, unfortunate situation with, uh, something to do with their work. Okay, it could be a Leo. This person could have Leo in their chart. I feel like a lot of you are coming into abundance, sudden wealth, but there's somebody in your family. I mean, this has to do, I mean, I have to say how I see it. So there could be somebody here experiencing um, bad health. What's for this reading? This cancer need to know. We have the two of cups and Leo energy, the strength card. This could be a person whom you're in a connection with, okay, aside from that family message that I just um, channeled for you. Uh, I see a masculine in, that could be in despair. They could be experiencing bad health. Um, someone feels like they have to work really hard, okay, to gain success, okay, they feel they could feel tired. Um, now we have this two of cups with the strength card. Someone could be could have been resisting a connection for some time. It says protect your energy. You might be protecting your energy at this time from someone uh, that is experiencing bad luck. Okay, I have to say it this the way I'm seeing it. Okay, bad health and despair. It's not. It's a person who's experiencing a lot of. You know, they have to work really hard to earn a living um, if they have any work at all. So. This is overcoming a situation, feeling like you need to have courage here to overcome a situation. We have the Two of Cups with the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck, the High Priestess. I feel like there's a person who still has a lot of passion here for, yeah, a lot of passion for a spiritually awakened feminine energy, which I view as you. Cancer is the High Priestess, also Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus energy. So there's someone still with a lot of passion here for you. This person's tired, or it could be a, it could be a male that's in despair because of bad health. Okay, we have Leo energy with the strength card. A lot of you are over. I mean, I feel like this is someone who's been resisting a connection or could be overcoming a situation. Um, could be have could be in relations to their work or their health. Okay. What else for this reading, Holy Spirit? What else for this reading? Okay, we have the star card. So this is healing. This is a healing energy. It is also um, success, wishes granted. Okay, and a new beginning with the full at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like a lot of you are coming into sudden wealth, success, you know, there's success for you, you're shining. Okay, I don't know what this energy and that this, you know, but someone's here, so, um, and, and you know, it's not, not receiving good karma. That is what I see here. Someone could be 38 or turning 38 this summer. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, or 32, 31. We have 31, 32. Bad health, despair, and then we have this uh, toil and labor. Okay, two of cups is a connection. This could be with a love connection from the past. Six of cups at the bottom of this deck. 
I feel like you're getting a wish fulfillment. Could be. I know, actually not. I do feel, view this star card as a wish fulfillment. Two of Cups. What is this Two of Cups here? Okay, Three of Wands. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, something that it's arriving for you. I have been channeling so much. Look at the Ace of Cups. That it's hard for me to talk. I have been stuttering because of the, the, the energies. Or maybe I'm ascending too much. Or I don't know. The Three of Wands is... It could be an arrival, okay? It could be an arrival here. It's actually, it is it is something that is arriving for you. Sometimes I could view it as a departure as well, but I feel like you've been, in, this is expectation. This is someone that's at a distance expecting, or they don't have to be at a distance, but you could have been expecting this for some time with the three of wands in expectation of this love, this offer, this cup being offered to you. The masculine in the two of cups offers the cup to the feminine. We have the ace of cups here with somebody that I feel like is still holding on to you. Could be an Aries with this emperor, masculine energy, Aries energy. Why is it, spirit is saying to protect your energy? I don't know. You know, you may you may need to protect your energy at this time because. There's a connection that's coming in for you. There it could be new love. It could be new love, four of pentacles, but I see it. I see a masculine here holding on or holding back, resisting. So it could have been a masculine that was holding back and resisting a connection. This person could be at a distance with the three of wands. What is the strength card? Okay, six of cups. Yep, six of cups and the star card again. I feel like a lot of you are having success with a soulmate, a past life soulmate. Look at all. Oh, Look at this, Cancer. King of Cups. I'm going to put this here. The Lovers and the Six of Cups. Soulmate energy, water energy. Uh, this King of Cups could be this person here and it receiving a concern of bad health or news of concern. Or give me just a moment, Cancer. Um, news of some sort of uh, bad health. They could be experiencing bad health, okay? And maybe feel like they're they're over overly they're overworking. They're overworked, okay? Gemini energy. I feel like the you do have success here with a past life soulmate. I think I said that already. Okay. We have Aquarius, Aquarius energy with the star card. We have the star card here also. The three of wands is your ships coming in. It's the law of attraction. It's the intentions you've put out. The law, you know, the universe now. Something, something could be arriving. There's some. There's could be an arrival or a return here of someone whom you do know. You do know this person. The six of cups, water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is someone who has a lot of love for you. I feel like this person does love you. They're in despair at this time. This could be a masculine in despair because of bad health. Because of work. They feel like they're working too much, but they're not get, They're not making enough or something like that. It could be that way. It could be that, that situation, something like that. I don't know. This strength card is clarified with the six of cups, the lovers, and the king of cups. You, there's a connection there's a return there's a connection with a with a soulmate there's a very strong soulmate connection with this energy who's going through something right now they could be going through so like conflict with other people they could be you know be, they could be experiencing conflict at work okay with their health they're thinking of you they're in despair thinking of you okay so i think getting that energy a lot yeah they're in despair someone's in despair nine of swords okay we have the queen of wands at the bottom of the deck with the queen of cups the three of cups oh my god okay so i did a reading um for you guys and it was the same exact combination different deck i think it was this deck the queen of wands the queen of cups the three of cups the fool someone feels foolish here because by initiate because of initiating a new beginning with a third party there's two queens here there's you the queen of cups and then the queen of wands that is so profound that i was viewing the same exact energy in a different deck um this person could feel like they made a mistake or someone could be freeing themselves here could the initiating a new beginning here coming forward with an offer exciting new offer someone could be walking away or moving on okay from uh something else they feel like they're like this person's going through something right now very intensive intensely it's something intense okay 
there's a reason why this is showing up. Protect your energy in 1111. They may be sort of calling you in because of what they're, they're going through. They may be thinking a lot about you right now. I don't know where I'm getting that. Um, and there, and again, it's the energy of two feminine energies, the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. An offer that has been delayed but is sure to arrive with the Knight of Pentacles. We have Pisces energy, Hangman, and the Two of Pentacles. My gosh, you know, this energy is, again, it's a back and forth, weighing things out, viewing things differently, taking a time to reflect here and view things from a different perspective. And weighing things out, potentially even wanting to, to, to come to some sort of a resolution here. That's what I'm hearing. Because the star card is a yes card. Is the universe saying yes to you? Is your wishes being granted? Something you've been hopeful and wishful about, okay? Or something you've had. You kept your hope, hope and wishes, okay? Could have been about a new beginning or this person may take a leap and come in, to, come in towards a union reconciliation with the Ten of Cups. The full card energy, freeing themselves, ending of a burden, looking back, waiting. You're dealing here with a masculine energy who, who would very much so is, well, I think that this person is deciding here to take action. The emperor decides it's a person who feels like they're in control. Okay, they're very wise. This energy is wise. They're not a young, you know, they could be matured. They could be a person, a masculine who's matured. Okay, it could be a Libra. Now, I do see this person here deciding, making a decision here to reconcile, to come into reconciliation here for a hap happily ever after here. Okay, because of justice, divine justice, and because they're viewing things differently. We have this Queen of Wands here. Could be a third party. Yeah, and the Seven of Swords. Something could be changing about um, a deceptive karmic or a karmic cycle here. A karmic cycle with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, this person could be viewing this Queen of Wands as someone who's false and deceptive. This third party with the Three of Pentacles, third party. So there's a change happening here. There's definite change. Okay. King of Swords, Nine of Swords. It's um, it's viewing things differently. It's I feel like someone is could be viewing things differently. Could be viewing this Queen of Wands differently. Um, certainly viewing them differently because this person's a liar or they they're deceitful. So um, there's justice for this happening for you. I feel like that that I did see this energy in today's reading or earlier today for you. The Justice card um showing up quite a bit for you, Cancer. And, you know, this this situation with his despair and bad health, you know, it could be someone's karma. You know, I, I hate to say, it, but it could be very much so someone's karma. They're in this restlessness, uh, anxiety, okay, overthinking, despair. Okay, it says here despair, number 32, which is a five. And then so there's a definite change. Um, I feel like there's a person that is making, viewing things, weighing things out. Okay, definitely weighing things out in their mind. Because the hangman is here. I feel like this is somebody who's thinking in reflection. Weighing things out. Yeah, it's the past. It's the past cancer judgment. The knight of pentacles. Death card. Devil could be a Capricorn. Six of wands. This person here is uh, the returning. There's somebody's returning here to you. So... Give me one more for this uh, Six of Cups. Clarify the Six of Cups here. I'm looking at the Six of Cups with this King of Cups. Someone who has a lot of love, feelings of love here. A soulmate. Could be Gemini or a Virgo. We have the Four of Cups here. Discontent, unhappy because uh, because of a missed opportunity with this King of Cups. Yeah. Who is a soulmate? Who is a twin flame for them? They know, they know, they know this now. Someone's coming, taking action towards a, a, a soulmate. Four of Cups. Okay. Yeah. The star card keeps showing up for you, Cancer. You may be dealing with an Aquarius, but I see this here as somebody coming in to offer you a passionate, passionate new beginning. This is an exciting new beginning for you. Okay. With something that you, ha you have wanted. This is something you have wanted. That's important about this message. Okay. Not everyone that offers excitement, okay, or passion. We don't, not, it's not, it's not always something we want, but I feel like this is something you have wanted with the start card. The, the universe is saying yes. 
the star card is a yes card for me. I feel like there's somebody that could be experiencing a lot of bad, like like a, a, like I said, bad luck. You know that they, they may be pulling on your energy at this time. <gasps> oh my gosh, that like scared me. Just one second, Cancer. And under. Great prices on sandals for the entire family, and fifty percent off. I'm not. I'm not going to edit the video. My TV just turned on, so that scared. You just. I. I got spooked. You may get. You. You may be surprised. You may be surprised. I'm not going to edit the video. So. Oh my God, I got so scared. Uh, the star card and the Ace of Wands uh, is wishes granted for you. It is wishes granted for you. We have the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck showing. Okay, with the Knight of Wands, Temperance, Sagittarius. Someone's coming in towards this Divine Feminine by destiny, because of destiny. So what else for this reading does Cancer need to know, Holy Spirit? What else for this reading does Cancer need to know? We have third party, interference, cheating, competition, mistress, and we have the truth. So someone here is seeing a truth about a third party. That is what I'm that is what I'm seeing. Confession, clarity reveals secrets. Someone seeing the truth about a third party. They have unfinished business with you. Third party energy has been showing quite a bit. So this person has unf there's unfinished business here with you. They're going through it. This is an energy that who's going through it. Okay, very strongly. Could be a Leo. We have Leo Aquarius in the reading. Um, but there's unfinished business here. It says breakup. Breakup. Walking away, ending, separation is over. It could be over with a third party because someone has seen, has seen the truth. Something has been revealed about a third party. About a mistress. Give me one more, Holy Spirit. It's one more for this reading. There's a connection that's come that head that's headed your way. Okay, two of cups and the three of wands is this past life summit that is headed your way. Okay, nine of swords is this person overthinking. Okay, how to overcome this situation with you? I don't know what happened between you and this person, but there's something very beautiful here happening for you, Cancer. Okay, this star card lets me know that um, it's 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 a healing energy. It's a healing energy, but it's also a wish granted for you. Okay, spirit is telling me to take a look at this card again. It's a breakup. I feel like this person in, in a third third energy here have ended. In fact, it's over. That's what it says here, because the, someone's returning back to a true love connection, a true soulmate. That is why this person's showing up in despair. You know, someone's in definite despair. You know, nine of swords. You know, could be an, an anxiousness about this energy. Okay, because a player could be, they were they were manipulative. There's karmic being tested, karmic, okay. Give me one more for this reading, Holy Spirit, for Cancer. Give me one more. We have music, musician, snake, charmer, harmony, mel melody. Okay, you could be hearing songs or this energy could be connecting with you via songs, okay, through songs. Snake, we have snake, the word snake's coming up here. Okay, there's a snake here in the mix, and we do have interference, third party here, interference. Okay, so there's a snake here, it says deception, shady, temptation, enemy. Okay, this energy was in a toxic relationship with a third party, okay, where there were fights, it was codependent, misunderstanding, triggering, toxic relationship. They were in a tox, someone, someone was in a toxic relationship with a third party, okay? That is what I'm getting, this message. Okay, that's why there's the, there's someone that, see, this is the Six of Cups. This is an ex-lover. The Six of Cups, memories, the past, old flame, nostalgia, nostalgic. This is a person, the, the Six of Cups is here with the lovers, Gemini, Leo energy. Now, this is somebody who's, who's having nostalgic feelings about you, looking at your pictures. This is somebody who could be looking at your pictures, okay? Having a spiritual awakening, okay? Enlightenment, epiphany, life lessons, rebirth. Kind of looks like the full card energy, right? Someone having a spiritual awakening, being in life, feeling enlightened, having an epiphany. That has been showing up also. Give me one more. Spirit is telling me not to take any more cards from this deck, okay? So, third party, truth about a third party, and this person here thinking of you and thinking and having nostalgic memories. There's a wish being granted here for you by the divine. Okay. What else for this reading, Holy Spirit? What else does Cancer need to know for this reading? What else does Cancer need to know for this reading? Thank you, Spirit. 
we have karma karma showing up karma justice okay weighing things out that is the two of pentacles that's what i said this person's weighing things out this energy is weighing things out okay cause and effect choices wants to make things right this person wants to make things right with you um we have self-care energy low energy depleted that is this this i i said someone feels tired because of over overworked someone feels overworked okay so depleted cleansing protect your energy wanting time alone recharge retreat self-care so <clears throat> that may be a sign message for some of you you may need to go within and take care of you know pay more attention to self-care okay your energy okay if you feel depleted okay you need to cleanse it says here protect your energy so there could be some cleansings that you could do cancer um at this time there's a person here who's weighing things out there's karma playing a big role and i can see that happening okay because we have a person here who's we have toil uh, labor someone who's overworked despair and bad health okay news of bad health concerns and I, I, I think I mentioned karma. It feels to me like, you know, someone's having a, not, not such, such great lo um, time at this moment. It feels that way to me, Cancer. Let's get some more of these for you. What else does Cancer need to know for this reading, Holy Spirit? What else does Cancer need to know? Which makes sense why this person keeps on showing up. The Six of Cups has been showing up. You know, this person feeling nostalgia and you know, looking back, you know, memories. I want you. It says here. What else for this reading for cancer thank you spirit okay long distance long distance that's the three of wands so this connection could be with someone at a long distance a pisces having a major realization reconciliation we have reconciliation i see reconciliation with the six of cups and the lovers okay i do see two people coming together here and reconciling okay passion being ignited Okay, there's passion being ignited here with this Ace of Wands. Okay. I'm saying that because I'm seeing passion ignited. Someone wants to ignite passion. Could be a Pisces. Could be a Pisces. I'm seeing Pisces here. Okay. What else does Cancer need to know for this reading, Holy Spirit? What else does Cancer need to know? I'm telling me to take this card. Firm foundation. That's the Four of Wands. This person may want to build on a firm foundation with you. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we have Pisces again, number 12. Okay, sacrifice, it says here, sacrifice. This is the hangman, number 12. Okay, sacrifice, self-reflection, rebirth. Okay, rebirth, taking a moment, a standstill here to reflect. So very strong Piscean energy. We have this moving on and emotional withdrawal that's the four of cups emotion this person is it's moving on somebody's moving on here okay someone's birthday could be august 6th or june 8th um number 14 may be significant also so someone's moving on okay because there, there's emotional there's there's unrequited love there's a, a missed opportunity there's emotional discontentment be feeling emotionally withdrawn okay and moving on see someone here alone moving on give me one more holy spirit at a long distance a libra could be a libra 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 for me feels like the justice card okay someone at a long distance material harvest is at the bottom of the deck and we have power number eight leo could be dealing with a leo Feel like a, like a, I feel like someone feels like they, they need to acquire the strength here and the courage here to move on, okay? Okay, this could have been, you know, this is somebody who's not, we have two eights. This is somebody who's not happy. The emo emotional emotional withdrawal withdrawal is not, it's someone who's, who's discontent with their life. You know, they're not happy. I feel like someone here feels like they need to acquire the strength and the courage here to move on, to move on from something. Okay, we do have this reconciliation. I just want to get one more card from this deck, Cancer. I don't know why I'm guided to do so. Give me one more for this reading, Holy Spirit. Someone feels depleted. That's what I'm hearing. And we have the five of wands because of fights, you know, and because of fights with a third party. Someone feels depleted because that all they do is fight fight with a third party. That's that that's why, you know, it, it, it's it's a sense of requi requiring a strength, a sense of strength here to move on because they're they're unhappy, they're emotionally withdrawn. OK, 
okay? This justice card for me feels like someone who wants to move towards something much more balanced and build on a firmer, like um, build on a foundation elsewhere. Three of Pentacles I saw and the Seven of Pentacles and wanting to invest or looking back or someone's waiting. Someone could be waiting. Give me one more. Could be dealing with an Earth sign, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we have the Ten of Cups. That is this reconciliation here. The Ten of Cups. Someone's looking back. Someone could be looking back. Someone whom you're not talking to at this time. Ten of Cups is reconciliation. Having a major realization where their happiness lies. I'm also hearing that cancer, and this is definitely an ex. This is someone whom you do know. Okay, that's what I'm that is what I'm seeing here. We have trust. A need to trust in the divine plan at this time, regardless of the external. Okay, we have lessons of Neptune, that is Pisces. Denial, illusion, and deception of self or by another. Self-love, boundaries, and detachment are important. This person was deceived by a third party. They were in some sort of denial here. Someone was in denial, in, 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 in illusion, and in deception of self or another or by another. Someone deceived this energy. So they were deceived. Someone deceived themselves. They could have deceived themselves. I feel like it's, um, it says here, self-love boundaries. Protect your energy, Cancer. Okay and detachment are important okay so this energy could be the detaching someone is detaching and trusting okay trusting they could be trusting um spirit is saying for you to trust regardless of what it is that you see now on the external okay someone is weighing definitely weighing things out and viewing things from a totally different light totally different perspective okay we do have reconciliation here. I feel like that, that is what they're weighing. That someone's weighing out the cause and effect, okay? Weighing things out, cause and effect. Okay, and trusting in divine timing. The, the, you need to trust in the, the, the divine plan at this time, regardless of the external. That is what spirit is saying, okay? There's a person here that was deceived, okay, by an illusion, complete illusion, okay? And now is the time to detach, okay? M moving on, this energy is moving on. Cancer, I'm going to leave the reading here. Let me know if the reading resonated with you. If you are interested in winning a free reading with me, please leave a emoji, an emoji. I think I left the instructions in the description, but leave an emoji in the comment section. Like the video. Thank you so much. Love you guys all so much. I'll be back very soon with another message. Until next reading, namaste.